Hey lovelies, I'm back with another video and I know some of y'all like Yes sis, you finally put up another hair braiding video. What took you so long? I've been waiting. Well, your wait is over. Let's get into this intro, baby. Pretty so bad. Lanisha so hood. Pretty Lanisha, we came to slay my love. Hair. Fashion. So lovelies, like I said in other videos, I love to do more than just braid hair. I like to sew, I like to write poems, and I definitely like to dibble and dabble and weave and color and stuff like that. So for those that's just here for the hair braiding videos, here you go. And those that love everything that I do and put on my channel, here you go. And thank you for those that appreciate everything that I do on my channel. You lovelies are the best. Love y'all. Anyways, in this video, I'm basically like I do in most of my videos. I'm, I'm sectioning out and braiding up what I don't want to get in the way. And for this part, as you can see, I'm using some shine and jam to make sure my parts is neat and in place. And I'm just doing a few triangles. So it's going to be four triangles. And basically, I'm showing you how to do one side. And I'll just be through the other side because this hairstyle is very repetitive. It's very simple. It's like add spice to a braided updo. And I'm doing stitch braids. I'm not the best at stitch braids. Like I said before, I try to practice anytime I get a chance to. She did not ask for stitch braids. But like I said, I want to practice it. So, so lovelies, I slow down anytime I'm ready to pull a triangle braid into the feed and braid that I'm doing and make sure you don't pull on that triangle braid too tight. You don't want to cause too much tension. That could cause bumps and pain. So I pull in the first triangle braid into this feed and braid and then I'm going to pull in a third triangle braid as you see here into the feed and braid and I just continue to braid or stitch braid until that braid is done I have no more hair to braid in now I do the exact same thing for the hair that I have left out by her ear that braid I'm gonna pull in the second triangle braid and I'm gonna pull in the last triangle braid into it very simple very repetitive and for the rest of the hair that I have out I'm just gonna be practicing stitch braiding it going back and going forward so if you go into a ponytail this style is so simple and easy lovelies I know you guys can do it I know this is a cute summer protective style so as you saw in the beginning, I parted the hair down the middle. Now in this section right here is going to be one braid and in the back is going to be two braids going up. The same thing I did on this side will be on the other side. So in total, so she has six large stitch braids, four skinny stitch braids, and eight triangles for this whole hairstyle. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm not going to talk no more. I wish I had some better music for you guys to listen to because I'm really not going to talk no more. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you like. This hairstyle was supposed to be two big braids, but I didn't like how it was coming out. So we opted for an updo, a ponytail braided style. Because it was 12 a.m. in the morning, I just finished doing her friend's hair before her, and we was just all tired. So we thought this braided ponytail style would be so much better. And I think it came out really, really cute.
So now here I'm stitch braiding up and I just want you to see and pay attention that the section that I previously did, the ends that was hanging out, I'm now pulling them into the back braid as you can see. So as I go up, wherever that braid folds, that's where I pull that braid into this big braid and I continue to stitch braid all the way up and all the way to the ends and i do the same for here but only thing that's different here is that i don't have to pull any hair up i could just braid regular up and the thing i also want to mention a lot of people tell you how much hair they use for each braid and how many packs it all depends on how you braid i don't want to tell you oh i needed five packs or seven packs or whatever because i really don't know how many packs you're gonna need every braiding pack is different you may need more you need you may need less you may use more hair for the style that you want to create you may use less hair for the style that you want to create and it also depends on the person's hair as well some people's hair because it's thicker or their head is bigger or whatever the case may be you may need more packs anyways or less anyways i'm taking all of the flyaways i'm cutting all of the flyaways away and i'm gonna dip her in before i put it in an actual ponytail and then i use a rubber band and i add braiding hair onto the rubber band braid it up and dip that in the boiling hot water as well so right now i'm putting the rubber band with the braided piece on so i can wrap it around and conceal her braids basically you know add some funk to it and i'm going to stitch that up i'm not going to use bobby pins i'm going to use a needle and thread and stitch it in place i'm just tacking it down in a few places you don't have to do anything major or you can use bobby pins but this is the finished results i wish i had better lighting but here you go i hope you like and if you want to see more check out my instagram for more pictures until next time lovelies later everything will be in the description bar below